Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wow Crendor, and today I want to talk about some legacy server stuff that's been going on. And I don't know how I didn't hear about this, because apparently it's been going on for a few days or a week now. But, uh, if you didn't know, uh, there was the whole Nostalrius issue that happened a few months back, and they're getting, uh, I got a cease and desist or something by Blizzard, or they just got told, like, better stop doing that, private server stuff. And they're like, alright, so they took it down. But then Blizzard flew them out to Blizzard headquarters, and everyone's like, oh shit, are they going to do legacy servers? So I guess a lot of people were expecting a big announcement at BlizzCon of like, hey guys, we're working on bringing vanilla servers back! And being like, whoa! But that didn't happen. So, apparently, Nostalrius made the announcement that the server's not returning, but they'll be making their source codes and tools open for the public in hopes that the legacy servers will continue to thrive in the near future. One of the first servers to be given the developer codes is Elysium WoW. It's an official Facebook post. Developer of Nostral Nostalia shared his insights regarding why they keep on pushing legacy servers and such. So, uh, as I was reading more into this, I guess they're not bringing back, uh, they're not bringing back actual Nostalrius because they can't, because they get <laughs> taken to court and stuff. But, I guess they're making the source code open so that everyone else can do it. And I guess Elysium is one of the bigger private servers? I wouldn't know, because I don't play on private servers. But, from what I've been reading, I guess that is true. Uh, if you <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, by all means. Because uh, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. Uh... And I guess they're they're just trying to make another big push for legacy stuff. But my main thing that I've been thinking about is... Isn't Blizzard just going to come down hard on all these other uh, vanilla private uh, servers as well? But uh, with all the backlash... Maybe this is the thing. With all the backlash they got from the previous uh, legacy server takedown... Maybe they're more lenient now, or they're just kind of like, whatever, man, just do it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really curious to see how this plays out now, because I am kind of... <laughs> I'm just like, wait, so Blizzard took down Nostalrius. Like, was that a message they were trying to send? Like, look at us, we're going to come after you little private server people. Uh, and then <laughs> be like, eh, but, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm curious. I'm doing it. I don't know. I'm just curious as to how this is all going to play. I can't. I'm just word vomiting right now. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I just want to make this video to learn more about what's actually going on and discuss that. I still don't get why they don't just do something with legacy servers or... That's what I thought they were going to do. I think that's what everybody thought they were going to do is like team up with Nostalrius and kind of do a vanilla-esque legacy type server uh, or work together with them to maybe make it so like hey Nostalrius is now like Blizzard owned or something like, I don't know just anything <laughs> and instead like nothing happened and now they're just releasing all the source codes and everything so I guess uh, everyone else can try and do it so it's kind of just it's like playing with fire at this point you know it's like do you wanna <laughs> use the source codes and do all that stuff and risk getting sued by Blizzard, uh, just, I don't know, man, that's just, it's some crazy stuff going on, uh, and I've just been reading all these articles about it, uh, so, <laughs> like, these articles, they also, like, blow everything out of proportion, it's like the typical, like, Nostalrius may no longer come back, but it's through the hard work of certain individuals that kept the legacy servers thriving, with source codes open to the public, it's just a matter of time before legacy servers will come into being, and also, before Blizzard will take actions with regards to the matter, like, legacy servers are already there. <laughs> They've, it's just, I guess now they'll be better off because they'll have more tools and stuff to recreate vanilla WoW. I think, I don't know, I'm not a programmer, <laughs> I don't know any of this, but, uh, I get, I, I can't imagine that Blizzard wouldn't start going after these if a lot of them started popping up. Just because of how hard they came after Nostalrius. Unless they're really afraid of community feedback. But. I don't know. Do you think Blizzard. Alright. Do you think Blizzard is going to come down. 
on servers if they start using these tools and resources to make more vanilla WoW servers? Or do you think they're just going to let it pass and be like, you know what, just let it happen? You know, maybe there's not that many people playing on them. Just let them have their fun. Uh, or do you think it might be Activision? Because that's what I was thinking. I was like, maybe Blizzard the themselves don't care, but Activision is like, we don't want we don't want any of those uh, private servers going on uh, going on uh, going on out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so either way, comment below what you think. I'm curious. Also. There's a new Pointless Top 10 coming tomorrow. It hasn't been one in like a month, so I'm very excited to announce that. So, thanks for watching, and yeah. Okay. Okay. See you.